Let's learn how to cite artwork you find online on a website. There is a very specific way to do this. Noodle Tools will help. First, make sure you are logged into your Noodle Tools account. If you haven't already, create a new project in Noodle Tools by clicking the plus new project button at the top left. Name your project appropriately. and choose the correct citation style of MLA and the correct citation level of Junior. Please note, Starter will not work for this type of citation. Then, click on the Sources tab for your project and choose the plus Create New Citation button at the top left. Since you're viewing the artwork online on a website, choose Website as your source type and then choose Work Official Art at the bottom right. Here, Noodle Tools is now provided you with a template in which you can put the information needed to cite this source. This next piece is very important. You must locate the piece of artwork you wish to cite. You need to ensure you're using an authoritative website to locate the artwork. The best option would be to use the website for the museum or gallery for where the artwork is. Try to avoid any websites that are selling prints of the artist's work or seem unauthoritative. Here is a painting called Study for a Sunday on La Grande Jean by Georges Seurat. It is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. This is their official website, so it will be very useful. To cite this source, follow along with what information Noodle Tools is asking for in the template. First, we are asked for name of container website. This just means the name of the entire website you are looking at. In this case, the website is the map, but we will use its full name, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Next is the publisher of the website. We should be able to locate this just like in any other website by finding the copyright, usually at the bottom of the page. Here at this page's copyright, we can see the publisher is also at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Noodle Tools tells us in this info pop-up that if our publisher name is the same as our website name, we can leave it out, so we will. URL is next. Simply copy and paste the URL from the website into Noodle Tools. This URL is pretty long and could even change depending on the search done on that website. The Noodle Tools info box says we can shorten things so the link reflects a more permanent link as opposed to a search. Deleting everything after collection will be fine and still take any reader to the correct location to search for this Seurat painting. Then we need the date of our access, which will typically be the current date. Just choose the Today button and Noodle Tools will fill this in for you. That's it for the website itself. Now we'll need to fill in the information regarding the actual painting we are looking at. First, we need the artist's name, so in goes Georges Seurat. The next piece of information, type of art, is already set on painting, so this is fine the way it is. Title of painting is next. The MET has provided the painting's title here, underneath the painting's image. It is spelled and capitalized correctly, so it is fine to copy and paste this into Noodle Tools. The last piece of information is the year the artwork was created. Often an artwork's creation might span multiple years. You can see here that this painting was completed in 1884, so that is the date we will put in the year box. And that's it. Click the green save button when you are finished and you will have your completed citation. If you have other pieces of artwork to cite, you will just go back and complete the same steps again until you have cited all the sources you have used for your project.